Hi, blue man. Hope you're doing okay. Well, I'm not sure this is what you're after, but I'll give you, you know, an idea. I think this is what you're talking about. There's your tube there, okay? I've made a tube there. That tube normally gives you a centre line, which is in effect the radius that you want to be able to run your axis off to move your tube round. I made the tube first, yeah? Um, and then I made that a component, right? But without making that a component. I then clicked upon that and made that and all of this a component. So that makes that type slightly separate then. It's separate from the tube. Once you've done, because you're basically working off the same radius as that tube there for the inside of it, then you just make it bigger on the outside. Then you push call one section or whatever, however, you know, however thick you want it. And, then, and that's basically it then. So once you select that, let's go on, sorry, let's start again. Let's just get out there and close the component, right. Once I select that component now, if I just then get the rotate tool, there's the original axis there from when I made the tube. And whatever you move, when you move that tube, that will then go around there like that. And I'm assuming that's what you're looking for. I hope that answers the question. Sorry it's a bit brief, but the download speed's a bit slow, so I want to make it small. Okay, cheers, mate. Bye.